Hey guys, this is Chris from Empire Bricks and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars set review. Today we're having a look at set 7155, the Trade Federation AAT. This set is very old, it was released in 2000, it has 158 pieces, it comes with two minifigures and the set retailed at the time for $20. So as always, let's have a look at the minifigures first, there's two of them. But they are the figures that we already know from so many other sets. They are the B1 Battle Droids. You get two of these fellas. Um, they are identical to each other. The only thing that uh, maybe the newer Star Wars fans or LEGO Star Wars fans would not know is that these older B1 Battle Droids still came with the um, horizontal um, holder arms. So they cannot really hold a blaster in a vertical position. Um, but they didn't come with blasters yet. Um, they had kind of... Uh, brick built blasters but i will come to that in a second so you get two of these um nice for your droid army but no special figures that's you know kind of a bummer for a set like this um it would have been great to have like jar jar with some boomers or something uh, just to make it more of a movie scene set uh, but still on itself it's always nice to have two battle droids and two minifigures in a relatively small set for twenty dollars is just fine so let's move on to the set itself um like I said, it's the Trade Federation AAT from 2000, so very old, 18 years old at the moment. Um, but since we're re we are reviewing this um, in the present day, I can tell you that um, this is still, in my opinion, by far the best AAT um, that LEGO made. Because we have um, this one, this is the very first one. Um, there's, of course, a microfighter, but I'm not going to uh, count that uh, for a real set. There is um, a blue Clone Wars AAT, and there's a very, very small uh, tan AAT that is newer than this one. Um, now, the blue one is pretty big. It's a very nice set. It looks good, and it looks like the Clone Wars set. But as a fan of the movies um, in principle, I think that um, you know this is by far my favorite. It has some very awesome prints, uh, making it look exactly like it should. So, um, that brings me to the looks. Um, I think... This set looks absolutely amazing. There is, uh, like I said, some printed pieces, like these two large uh, dish pieces over here that have these uh, gun holes in front, making the whole thing look very good. If these pieces were not printed, I think this set would look a lot, lot uh, worse than this. And there is this one printed uh, hood piece uh, here on top, but that's it. Uh, all the rest of the looks come from the texture of the bricks itself, and it looks pretty awesome. Um, and it's relatively large for only 158 pieces now the only thing that i think is a little bit off is how far the uh, cannon and um, cockpit piece is um, you know built backwards um, i think it should have been a little bit more over here so i think it's like four to six studs uh, too long but um, even though it looks like it should you know fall over it absolutely doesn't even if you would tip it over it will still fall back so it's very very well balanced now looking at functionality this is a very old set so there's not that much functionality um, going on there is some um, functionality in the cannon you can actually turn it uh, to a certain degree um, it will be blocked by these pieces here so this is about all you can turn with it but that's not necessarily a bad thing the, um, the cannon itself can actually go up and down with this hinge piece but you have to be very careful it's a very heavy hinge piece so if you just take the um the cannon itself it will just break off uh, like this but that is something that many of the older sets uh, had another functionality is the cockpit which actually has the same hinge pieces so um, it's very hard to open this up without breaking it you have to be very careful um, looking inside of the uh, cockpit i'll just empty these droid arms from here uh, you can see that there is some uh, space for a droid so uh, just let, let us put one in um, since the droid doesn't have any studs on the bottom it will not um, kind of attach to the um, plate underneath but it will still fit in perfectly uh, you can also have him standing up uh, making it look more like he is uh, maybe controlling the uh, tank now there is no actual um, printed piece in this uh, cockpit so you'll just have to make pretend but I th still think it looks pretty well um, another option that you would have is take off the legs of the droid put a one by one um, uh, modified plate with a clip on the top and clip the droid um, on top of that 
uh, making it look like he's just looking out of the cockpit. I think that's a very good solution for, uh, for example, mocks and stuff. So uh, after or behind the uh, cockpit area, there is another small area where you can store like um, uh, small blasters or uh, binoculars. But otherwise, this cockpit is uh, not too much, which isn't too strange if you look at the fact that it is very flat indeed. Um, putting destroyed back together for a second. There is one more uh, small functionality, if you would say, and that is that the um, uh, under the uh, back side there is actually two of these clip holders, and there is two of these older uh, megaphone blasters in here that are supposed to be held by the droid, so they each come with their own blaster. Um, and as you can see, they still hold them in a very strange horizontal uh, way. So, But this is how the droids were back then, and nothing too bad. And since all the newer droids come with spare arms like uh, these, that can actually hold a gun uh, in a vertical position, um, there is no trouble. You can basically adapt all your older droids to uh, newer droids. So that's it for uh, this set. Having set all the uh, design points and all the functionalities, um, what are the biggest pros and cons? I definitely think that the looks are the biggest pro. It is the most accurate, um, at least movie accurate, uh, Trade Federation AAT set that was made by LEGO. It is relatively hard to get by now, but um, I can still really recommend it. If you're building a droid army, it will still fit in perfectly and you can easy, yeah, easily modify it a little bit to make it look more smooth and work away the uh, studs. I think the biggest uh, con is that it is missing some minifigures. Um, I mean, two battle droids is nice, um, but basically if you buy a Lego set, you would like to reenact a certain scene. And um, especially for Lego Star Wars sets, it's it's a good thing if you have some bad guys, and at least one good guy or maybe two um, to basically fight each other so you don't have to buy another set for that. And this set is definitely lacking uh, maybe a Gungan warrior or maybe a Naboo warrior, of which we really do not have a lot in uh, many sets. So that's it for this review. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you all next time.